It is overcast on the first Sunday in October and the usual sellout crowd at RFK Stadium for the continuation of one of the great rivalries in the National Football League, the Dallas Cowboys against the Washington Redskins. Hello everybody, Dick Stockton and Matt Millen and Matt Laley. It hasn't been much of a rivalry as the Cowboys have demolished the Skins the last three games and the number one order of business for the Redskins, how to stop that monumental Dallas attack. Well, if they can figure that one, Dick, I think they should bottle it and sell it to the rest of the National Football League. I think today what we're going to see out of the Redskins are some gambles. I think they're going to have to play some eight-man front. They're going to have to roll up to Irvin. They still have to take care of Novacek, but they still have to line up and go against that big offensive line that Terry Bradshaw talked about. So I think it's going to be a rough one. And uh, Kevin Williams will be in that lineup, as will Emmett Smith after that elbow injury last week. Now on the other side, Norv Turner has to find a way of moving the ball against Dallas. I think he will. I think this offense, the Washington Redskins offense, I think is one of the top five offenses in the league. I think Norv Turner's on a roll. In fact, I think they're going to stretch this defense and look early for them to throw the ball down to kind of disrupt the confidence of the Dallas secondary. All right, so Gus Farad will have that job as... The Dallas Cowboys will come out in their double star uniforms for the first time in blue and will return to RFK Stadium for the opening kickoff right after these messages from your local Fox station. And right now for a further report on the Emmett Smith situation, let's go down to the third member of our team, Pam Oliver. Well, Dick, Emmett Smith isn't feeling so hot, uh, but the Cowboys don't seem to think it's anything serious. I spoke with him a little while ago. He says he's feeling kind of so-so. It's not so much of a stomach problem as it is a sinus infection and a little bit of a sore throat. But, guys, as you know from when we talked with him last night, he is on a mission and not going to let anything slow him down. All Thank right, man. Thank you very much. Chris Boniel kicking off as the Redskins will get their hands on the ball first. And Brian Mitchell... One of the top kick returners in the National Football League is swarmed about by Cowboy defenders at the 25-yard line. Gus Farratt, who is making his fourth consecutive start after relieving Heath Schuler in game one of the season. And the offensive line, Trey Johnson, after warming up, will start at right guard. That's good news for the Redskins' offensive line. And as Matt Millen mentioned, they have got weapons in Terry Allen. Michael Westbrook as well as Farrat. Scott Galbraith, the former Cowboy, is a tight end. Play action on the first play. And Michael Westbrook downfield against Clayton Holmes. And the pass just beyond him. Incomplete as Farrat going deep on the first play of the game. You know, Dick, we just talked about that right in the open. You know, I did. this is something I expected early in the game was for Norv Turner to start getting into the cornerback's head right away. We're going to push you deep. We're going to come at you all game long. Here you just see Westbrook just running right by Clayton Holmes. And this is just six inches away from being a monster big play. Now, I think what this does, though, is it sets the tone. They're going to be aggressive offensively. 6-3 Westbrook against the 5-10 Holmes. Second down and 10. Another pass for Farrakh. And he can't get away. Tolbert. And he had some company. Russell Maryland in as well. And a first sack of the game. The Dallas defensive line with Haley and Tolbert. The ends in Leon Led and Russell Maryland. The tackles. We've already seen what they can do. Godfrey Miles, Robert Jones, who's been playing exceptional ball. And Dixon Edwards are the linebackers. Larry Brown, Brock Marion, Darren Woodson, and Clayton Holmes. Who is uh, keeping the cornerback position warm till Deion Sanders is ready to go. Third and 19. Leslie Shepard is the third wide receiver, and the pass is overthrown, intended for Henry Ellard. And the Redskins go three and out. Well, the first thing they did is they went up, and then... They had the time to throw the first pass. The second pass, they didn't. And that's what's going to be on their mind all day long. Because you can call a game as aggressive as you want to, but if you're not going to get any kind of protection, you're in for a long one. Matt Turk will be kicking from inside his five. Kevin Williams on his 40. And the Cowboys look for good field position. And a fair catch called for by Williams at the 45-yard line. So Troy Aikman will have a short field 
as he brings out the Cowboys offense following that 39-yard kick. Aikman has thrown a touchdown pass in every game so far this season. There's that great offensive line. You heard from them in the pregame show. And Eric Williams is starting at right tackle, had the strained calf. Emmett Smith is not wearing the protective sleeve that he thought he might need for his left elbow and the weapons with Michael Irvin and Jane Overcheck. First down on the 45 of Dallas. And it's Emmett Smith with the first carry, and he picks up about four. Rod Stevens, the middle linebacker, making the stop. The big matchup, the offensive line of the Cowboys against this defensive line. William Gaines is starting in place of Tim Johnson, who's out with a sprained neck. Marcus Patton, Rod Stevens, and Ken Harvey. Harvey picked up his first sack of the year last week. Green Richard, Keith Taylor, who's in there for James Washington, the former Cowboy, who's hurt, and Tom Carter. Second and six. Emmett Smith will give the Cowboys a first down inside the 45 of Washington with Woods and Richard that time and a gain of seven. Well, you know how every now and then you get a player in this league who will just dominate you? I think the Dallas Cowboys have five of them, and they're all up front, that entire offensive line. This group has played with a great mean streak, and I think it starts with Eric Williams. And what he's instilled in them is to go out and just steal your heart, and they'll just pound you into the ground. And that's what they expect to do today. Number one on rushing unit in the NFL. Aikman to throw for the first time, and he's got Michael Irvin, who breaks a couple of tackles. And is finally stopped at the 20-yard line by Rod Stevens. A gain of 24 yards, and the Cowboys are in business. They started on their own 45. Now, this is the dilemma that every team that's going to play the Cowboys are going to face this year. You have to respect that offensive line, its ability to run. So you start walking people up in safeties and playing eight-man fronts, and you start messing with your coverage. And when you do that, you have the Michael Irvin and Novacek and Troy Aikman to throw the ball, and that's the dilemma. You're caught in between, and it becomes a guessing game. On the 21-yard line. And this time, Emmett Smith is thrown back, led by William Gaines, making his first start, signed as a free agent from the Miami Dolphins a week before the season began. Well, and that's where one of the gambles paid. You know, so what Ron Lynn, the defensive coordinator for the for the Redskins, has done is he's going to start and he's going to try run blitzing. And when they do that, they'll put everybody in a gap and they seal everything off so Emmett has no place to go. The problem with that is if he get caught, it's six quick. There's Ron Lynn. He's got his hands full today. Second and ten. Aikman swings it out to Emmett Smith. And Smith gets it down to the 15-yard line and a gain of seven yards. Now, now, this is one of those things that, you know, Troy Aikman could get his favorite book, go back there today and read it and still have time to throw the ball. And this is an indicator of the rest of the game. It's going to be a long one. And so what they'll do, Ernie Zampezi, the offensive coordinator for the Cowboys, is he just going to be patient. And he's just going to let those big bodies of the offensive line wear you down, give the quarterback time, and then pretty soon it all comes together. This really is a big third down play for the Redskins defense. Even this early in the game. And the pass is knocked down. It was intended for Darrell Johnston out of the backfield and Keith Taylor. And pressure on Aikman, as you saw. And that'll bring up fourth down and a field goal attempt. But hey, we got a hobbler. Yeah, Aikman just got hit by Ken Harvey. And, and he came up hobbling. And if you ever want to slow down the Dallas Cowboy passing game, this is the way you do it. You take their quarterback out of it. See, Emmett tried to cut him. Actually, nobody even hit him. Heck, nobody hit him. That's even a worse sign. When these things happen, when nobody's around, that's a bad indicator. Heck, look at that. No one near him. Yeah, that, that's not good. He was holding his knee as he was helped off the field. And you would figure that somebody had put pressure, but no one did, and Aikman is being helped off the field. You can't blame it on the turf. All natural grass, he just went back and planted and threw, and something must have popped on him. Wade Wilson, the veteran, warming up for the Cowboys. You're right, Matt, you can't blame it on the turf. So many injuries have been blamed on it. Now Boniol attempting a 32-yard field goal with Jay Novacek holding.
O'Neill's kick is good, and the Cowboys have to settle for a field goal, but of more urgency to the Dallas Cowboys is the condition of their quarterback, Troy Aikman. The injury to Troy Aikman is a strained calf, and they're going to try to uh, massage it and rub it and see if it uh, improves. But it looked like more than a strain, because it looked like something popped on him. He jumped right up on him. Kickoff by Boniol and Brian Mitchell with a fingertip pass on the five-yard line. He could loom large as a big weapon for the Redskins today. Darren Woodson making the tackle, and let's see how Aikman went down again. Well, you can see he's going to plant with that right foot, and then just as he starts to throw, it looks like something just snapped right there. Boom. See that? And he pulled right up off it. Had to be painful. I think it affected the throw because the throw was a little bit behind. You normally don't act like that when you when you strain something. And it appears they're going to take him into the dressing room. Michael Irvin with a bit of encouragement for Troy Aikman. Wade Wilson warming up, as we said. First down on the 26 for the Redskins, who trail 3 to nothing. Here is Terry Allen with his first carry, and doesn't get much. Allen, the leading ball carrier for the Redskins, and fifth in the league. Believe it or not, this is the first time that he has faced the Dallas Cowboys in his career. Well, you watch right here on Charles Haley. You're going to have the tight end and the tackle. 88 Jenkins and then Joe Patton and what they're trying to do is they're trying to get inside of Haley's head right now See it's one thing to block him. It's another thing to push him back six yards They know Charles Haley is the key to that defense. So they want to get to him early. Second and nine short clap and the pass to Allen out of the backfield and he's got a first down in the Cowboy territory Amazing in six years, the first time that Allen has faced Dallas in a gain of 24, Darren Woodson brings him down. Well, yo, know, the first thing you have to do is priorities. The priority is Charles Hilly, so you have to get him blocked. Now, if you're going to have problems with this, you have to throw quick, which is what they do. But notice they kept the two guys on him. And then all they do is they just take that back and they just jump it back underneath your coverage. And when you got a guy like Terry Allen who's running as well as he is, it's a big threat. On the 49 of Dallas. Gets a couple of yards. Can you double team Haley all day if you're the Redskins offensive line? Absolutely, you absolutely have to account for him. You have to slide to him. You have to keep a back in. You keep a tight end there. They have a second year guy there in Joe Patton who can't hang with Haley. Actually, a big test for Patton. But what Charles Haley does is he will make the offense come to him. And by doing that, it defines the rest of the defense for where you're at. Second down and eight. All right. Giving ground and his screen pass was intended for Mark Logan, who never got out of the backfield. But guess why? He had number 94. And see, now this is a design play to slow him down. He's going to run a stunt back inside to slow him down, and then you just kind of let him go. But, I mean, he just takes Joe Patton and just throws him. And what he's doing is not using power, he's using leverage. And he feels a guy. I think Charles Haley is the best defensive end in football. That's saying a lot when you got Reggie White and, and Bruce Smith and those kind of guys. I think he's right there. Five of the seven plays have been through the air. Third down and eight for the Redskins. Here is Mitchell. Ryan Mitchell dives for the first down. And Terry Allen was with him just in case Mitchell was ready to pitch it out. A gain of 12 yards, and the Redskins are inside the 40. Well, you know what the Redskins finally have back from what they have been missing since Joe Gibbs was here? They got some great players. See, and they have some guys who can make things happen. Brian Mitchell might be the most underrated superstar in the National Football League. This guy can do everything and do everything well. And I think that is a major, major thing with this team. First down on the 35 of the Cowboys. Marat through the hands of Leslie Shepard. Tolbert with the pressure and a flag is down. And let's see if we'll have a roughing the passer. We will. That's the referee, Bernie Kukar, with the signal. That'll give the Redskins another first down deeper in Dallas territory. You know, you get the sense that... Personal fall. Roughing the passer, number 92 on the defense. 
That's a 15 yard penalty. Now you get the sense, and you can see the penalty here. I, I, I don't like it, but they're calling that now. That losing Troy Aikman all of a sudden picked up the whole crowd. All of a sudden they're saying, hey, we got ourselves a chance. That may be the wild card. And then you figured that this offense was going to be able to move the ball. What they're doing now is gaining confidence. Tolbert with the foul. First down on the 20. For the Redskins who trail 3 to nothing. Here's Mitchell again. And Mitchell holding the ball now try to pitch pitch it to Allen. That has been an option play and a flag is down. We saw Mitchell with a similar option play against the Denver Broncos and score a couple of weeks ago. Might get him for pitching that ball forward. Forward. Forward lateral. Or Turner saying, what's that? And we'll find out from Bernie Kukar. Illegal forward pass. Oh, I thought he was saying his lower back was hurting. That may be too. <laughs> Number 30 on the offense. That's a five-yard penalty from the spot where he released the pass. All right now, let's go down to Pam Oliver. Pam? Well, Dick, as you mentioned, it is a strained right calf. They've been taking him to the locker room. They're going to rub it down and see what happens. We asked him who, if he'll be able to come back, and he said, at this point, I just don't know. Back to you. All right, Pam, thank you very much. And there is Wade Wilson, who will come on the next time the Cowboys go on offense. Shante Carver has replaced Tony Colbert at defensive end. Second and 14 following the penalty. Screen pass to Terry Allen. And he is pushed out of bounds after a short game. The other thing that has to be talked about with this team and how, how much has gotten better is Gus Farratt. I mean, Gus Farratt right now knows he can play in his league. He knows his assets. He has good escapability. He has a big, strong arm. And I think what he's struggling with right now is should I take complete control of this offense or not? He doesn't quite know. It's like he has one foot on a banana peel and the other one on Heath Schuler. Because is this my team or is it going to be Heath when it comes back? You know, it was interesting. This week, Farad said, I've never really been on a winning team in my life through high school, college. That is amazing because you figure that kind of talent, he's got to win. Third and 11. One fake and a throw into the corner. And it's beyond Westbrook. Clayton Holmes was covering deep and had some help. And that'll bring up fourth down, and uh, Eddie Murray will come on to try to even things. Now, this is what I was talking about, learning how to play in this league. See, Westbrook still doesn't get that he can't outrun Gus Farratt's arm. See, and so what he did, he just kind of broke down right before the end zone instead of taking his pattern, and then Farratt can get a better gauge for him. He's got to run his patterns full speed all the way through. Eddie Murray, who has missed field goals in three straight games, a bit of a slump. This will be a 38-yard attempt. And Murray is right on the money, and the Redskins have tied it up with 7-11 remaining in the first quarter. We're 3-3 here at RFK. Receivers coach. And what he's telling them is how to play receiver. You know, if you listened at the beginning of the game, you heard us talk about how Michael Westbrook still doesn't quite know how to be a receiver. He knows how to go get the ball, but the receiving end of it and working a man and working his zone, running your patterns, he still has to work on. Rubisky is going to be a tutor. And the pickoff by Murray to Kevin Williams on the five. And Williams is cut. And hit hard at the 25-yard line by Derek Brownlow, another one of the former Cowboys now wearing the burgundy and gold. There are seven of them in all. Snoopy, dressed as the famous World War I flying ace, and today, rather than searching the skies for the Red Baron, Snoopy is enjoying NFL football action here on an overcast Sunday in Washington, the nation's capital, where the Redskins and the Cowboys have exchanged field goals. First down on the 26 as you look at this beautiful city. Wade Wilson taking over at quarterback for the injured Troy Aikman. On the 26, Wilson the throw on first down, and his pass on the sideline is caught by Michael Urban, and it is a first down. Good catch by Urban. Well, you know, some things don't change. Wade Wilson has the time to throw the football. So what will Wade Wilson's role be now in this offense? Well, he's got to be a mechanic. 
just don't mess it up. Go in there, run basic offense. You know you're going to have time to throw. Stay in the pocket and let your players make the play. This time, a great job of Michael Irvin pushing off and then coming back for the ball. Well, watch the Darrell Green Michael Irvin contest. This time, Emmett Smith may have gotten back to the line of scrimmage. And right now, for a McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown in our Hollywood studio. JB? Dick Graham's first turnover is costly. Marshall Falk, excellent blocking. He turns on the afterburners. And we've got a tie ball game in Indianapolis at 7. Let's take you back to the nation's capital, Dick Stockton and Matt Millen. 3-3 our score. There's Heath Schuler, who suffered a sprained shoulder in week one. Started to throw this week. Getting closer. Second and nine. Wilson with a sneak pass to Emmett Smith. And he gets to the 42-yard line. He'll be short of a first down by about six. Right now, let's send you down to Pam Oliver. All right, guys, what do we know about Troy Aikman at this point? I was back in the locker room and talked to one of the trainers. He is not going to return in this game. Apparently, it's not just a calf muscle strain. It is a pull. He'll be out in street clothes at best. Back to you. Thank you, Pam. And, uh, Matt, you have yeah. indicated that. Yeah, I figured that, you know, you've been there and you get those things. And when they pop like that, they pop for a reason. It's not a strain. Third and six, Wilson up the middle, and he's trying to go to Kevin Williams. And now the momentum and the enthusiasm have shifted dramatically to the Redskins side, and the fans don't know that Aikman won't be back. Well, this is going to be the difference with Aikman and Wade Wilson. See, now you're going to have coverage, and you have to, as long as you play tight coverage, look at tight here, here underneath, right here, everybody on a man, now the throw has to be perfect. And see, that takes a little patience. And when you're not used to playing, you have to develop your patience through the pace of the game. John Jett will be kicking to Brian Mitchell, who leads the NFL in punt return average. Gets off of beauty. Mitchell will let it bounce. And it uh, goes into the end zone for a touchback. Redskins will take over on their 20, tied 3-3 under five minutes remaining in the first. And the Washington Redskins going on offense again. Let's again take a look at that injury that forced Wade Wilson into the game and Troy Aikman, who is out for the rest of the game with a strained calf. Well, what I want you to watch is at the end. See, Aikman throws. He feels it right away. But watch how he goes specifically right to one point. See right there? See that thing? That means that he's got himself bit of a hole right there in that cap from the 20 yard line and the give is to Allen up the middle Allen last week gained 68 yards and 18 carries it's amazing what he has done with the surgery on both of his knees in his career uh, I think he's a major difference in this offense and the other major difference is that he has some people to run behind specifically the inside three of that Washington offensive line it's pretty comfortable running in there Two tight ends for the Skins on second and seven. They're off to throw and has some time. Allen out of the backfield, but doesn't get much. That was great coverage. It was nice uh, coverage. Edwards. Yeah, well, they did have time to throw the football. And I think it's because of the inside of that offensive line, particularly Trey Johnson. Now, Trey Johnson, this is the first time he's playing since the opener. He pulled the calf muscle much, or no, he did the ankle. Uh, and uh, and he hasn't been able to push off of it. It's a big, powerful guy. I'll tell you, there's a big parallel between Trey Johnson of the Redskins and Larry Allen of the Cowboys. In fact, I think three or four years from now, they're going to be the Pro Bowl guards. Wouldn't be surprising. Third and six. All right, under pressure. Throws it up for grabs, and it's intercepted by Darren Woodson. Woodson inside the 15, and Woodson goes all the way in for the score. That was all in Gus Ferran. A little bit of rookie panic right there. You throw that thing away, you just eat it. He tried to make a play. I think he was trying to throw to Leslie Shepard. It just took off on him, and then Woodson scores. First interception of the year for Darren Woodson. 37-yard return for the touchdown. And 
the Cowboys have taken a 9-3 lead, and Chris Boniel on to add the extra point. three in favor of Dallas so they don't have their field general Troy Aikman but the Cowboys have the lead with three minutes and 25 seconds to go in the first quarter well you see Farratt is going to make a bad decision but there's a reason first of all he's going to get himself some pressure see right inside he gets off the corner and then he just throws see he's trying to he's looking here I think he's going to come across and the ball just takes off on him. just goes a little bit too high and Woodson is playing deep in that half just runs to the football. Second career touchdown for Darren Woodson. And uh, Barat was definitely under pressure when he let go of this pass off his back foot. Well, Chad Hennings, 95, is going to throw and work it back underneath. Tolbert comes off the corner and makes him step up, and that gives him the pressure from Hennings inside. But again, at one point, you just got to say, you know, where am I going here? Just throw the thing away or eat it. Because when the ball takes off on you and you just try to force a play, inevitably you make a play for the other team. Cowboys get a defensive score and lead 10-3. to And Bonio will be kicking off for the third time in the game. Ryan Mitchell back deep for the Redskins. Mitchell from the four. And Brian Mitchell still going. And Brian Mitchell is finally tackled by the kicker, Chris Bonio. Otherwise, he might have scored. Great return by Mitchell. 63 yards. Well, I'm going to show you the anatomy of a kick return. Now, after he gets it, what he does, he hits it straight up the field. Brian Mitchell believes that the shortest distance is two point is between two points is a straight line That's exactly what he does the thing that people forget about him. He is a powerful guy I mean, you know, he's 220 pounds and he's smart enough to follow his blocking and when you get the wedge in front You get the blocks and just take it right up inside Number one in the NFC and kickoff returns and the Redskins on the Cowboy 38 on the draw play Terry Allen his way to the 35-yard line, a pickup of about three yards. And there's some there's some old practice mates going after each other. There are a lot of them out there. Yeah, well, Scott Galbraith, who played down in Was in uh, Dallas, isn't going to let his buddies have the upper hand. And so you just go out, you just keep grinding and grinding. You know, Dixon Edwards probably won against him a thousand times. But there's something different when you're on the other team. You still have to prove that you're the guy. Second and seven on the 35 of the Cowboys. Henry Ellard in motion, and here is Allen off the right side, has blockers and slips on the grass, and is stopped at the 30-yard line. He'll be short of a first down by a couple. Looks like Scott Galbraith is on a mission out there. This time, Scott Galbraith, when the play is over, Tony Tolbert was over to him talking to him, and Scott's just standing right in his face. You know, the great advantage that you have when you go from team to team is you get rid of all the thoughts and doubts that you had because you practice against them a thousand times. So you go out there and you just play. And you don't think how good the guy is or bad. You just already know. Third down and two from the 30. Here's Allen going outside. And Allen gets the first down before he is wrestled down by Darren Woodson. So the teams traded field goals early in this quarter, and now the Redskins, trailing by a touchdown, continue to threaten. Well, Norv Turner knows something. He knows he has big Ray Brown, 67, coming around the corner. And then he uses Mark Logan, 20, and it really, that's a version of the old counter tray. And then when you get Terry Allen, heck, you just follow those rear ends, and you just take it back up inside, and you get the big first down. Allen already has gained 22 yards on six carries. First down for the Redskins. And they go back to their hot hand. Allen fumbles. And it's still Redskins ball. Inside the 15, close to the 10. Godfrey Miles jarred the ball loose, but the Redskins retain possession. 
The official already signaled, so they know where the ball is. But I remember at the beginning I told you that Norv Turner is really in sync. He sees something right now. You know, this is just the same play, just the other side. You can see where that ball's out. Brock Marion stripped it. And then he falls down, and I think he just scissors it with his hand between his legs right there. Yeah. But that's the same play as the previous one with Ray Brown pulling. This time, it's Trey Johnson on the other side. So there's something on the edge that Norv Turner likes. And less than a half a minute remaining in the first quarter. Mark Logan gets his first carry of the game. The former 49er gets inside the 10. And that should be enough for a first down. And that will be the last play of the first quarter. So the big story in this quarter, the strained or full calf muscle for Troy Aikman. He will not return. And Barry Switzer's Cowboys hope they can hold off the Redskins. And that is the end of the first quarter at RFK Stadium with the score. Dallas 10 and Washington 3. Freddie Newman. But it, that could be anyone's guy in Washington. That's absolutely. He's, he's more like Albert Einstein right now. He knows the Dallas offense. Troy Aikman telling us last night. I've seen him call perfect games running our team in the past. First and goal at the nine and a rollout pass complete to Logan. He's in for the score. First play of the second quarter, a nine yard pass from Gus Barat to Mark Logan. And the Cowboys are within one of tying the game again. Well, remember those counter OTs that they were running? That's called setting up the kill shot. See, now they go with that same look to that side, and they swing Logan out in the flat, and then he just runs through the tackle of Brock Marion at the end. That was very well conceived, but more importantly, it was very well set up by North Turner. Logan with his second touchdown catch of the year, and now Eddie Murray, who has the longest current string of conversions, adds to it with his 203rd consecutive point after and the reaction of Gus Barat who threw the interception now he throws the touchdown to tie it at 10 boys by an average of four touchdowns in their last three meetings but are all even 10 10 here there is a scoring drive to Logan but Brian Mitchell's 63 yard kickoff return set it up for Washington Kevin Williams returning the kickoff from his five Stopped shy of the 25 by Matt Vanderbeek, another ex-Cowboy. Well, there's a lot of things going on here. First of all, you're going to get the clear down here by Henry Allen. He's got to clear this whole area. Then you get everybody going this way. Logan does a great job of dipping under the tight, uh, under the defensive end. And then what that does is it just kills, it kills your coverage. The biggest thing here is everybody's got to do their job. And Henry Ellard's got to clear that left quadrant wide out. So he just takes Clayton Holmes and runs him off. First down on the 24-yard line. Dexter Nottage is in a defensive tackle for Washington. Wade Wilson is the quarterback. And his first pass is through the hands of Darrell Johnson. If you joined us late, Wade Wilson, who was signed by the Cowboys in May from New Orleans and had played with Atlanta and Minnesota before that, 36-year-old veteran. Came in for Troy Aikman, who pulled a calf muscle and will not return. That was in the first possession of the game. Well, and the reason he's in there is right here. See, he just popped that thing. And he knew it right away. And that's not the first time Aikman got hurt against the Redskins. Second down and 10. On the 24, and Emmett Smith gets a burst up the middle. Close to a first down. Troy Aikman has a history of injuries against the Redskins, Matt. Yeah, I see in 91, that was the first time he came up here, and then Burline came in, and they went ahead and beat him, and that was the one the one loss that the Redskins had in that championship Super Bowl year. And then you see today, pulled the calf. This has not been a good place for Aikman. RFK kind of bitten him in the rear a couple times, or at least in the calf. It all hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> Third down and one, and uh, time is called by Wade Wilson as the Cowboys came out with the three tight end formation. So Dallas with its first time out of the first half. With a groin injury, and this was one game he really didn't want to miss. Yeah, and it's one game that, there's, that the Cowboys refused to believe he wouldn't be in. 
And you talked to Emmett Smith last night. He said, I don't believe that. He'll be there. He's got his number tattooed on my arm. So he's really got to be hurt to not be in. Third and one. Three tight ends for the Cowboys. And Emmett Smith appears to have enough for the first down. Daryl Morrison, the extra back for the Redskins defending. Well, the chess game that's going on now is between Ron Lynn, the defensive coordinator for the Skins, and Ernie Zampezi, the offensive coordinator for the Cowboys. So here's what you're doing. You know you have Emmett Smith to run behind that offensive line. So you want to try to load that thing up and put the pressure on Wade Wilson. So what Zampezi is doing is he's going to take Wilson and make him throw the safe pass to open up the running game. From the 35-yard line, and you're right, Wilson going to the air, and his pass is incomplete. He was looking for Novacek, it appeared, and right now for a McDonald's game break, let's again return to James Brown in our Hollywood studio. Hey, Dick, take a look at this outstanding run by Derek Moore. Great-looking blocking. The rest is all on him. Good speed as he finds pay dirt. Carolina looking impressive as they even matters up in South Carolina at 7. Let's take it back to Washington. Dick and Matt. You know, Matt, I don't think that Tampa Bay has uh, ever beaten Carolina. That's just a lucky guess. Oh. Yeah, I, I think that's just a hunch <laughs> in their long history. Second down, 10. And here is Kevin Williams on the end around. And he is pushed out of bounds solidly by Rod Stevens, the middle linebacker. And it is another first down for the Cowboys. Well, I want you to watch the guards getting out and blocking some people on the edge. You're going to watch everybody pulling. They're going to take off. And the thing is, everybody out there just gets blown out. Watch Big Nate Newton, 70, 61, 73, Larry Allen. Michael Irvin, who thinks he's a lineman, he goes down there and blocks too. The great thing when you watch this offense is everybody knows their role and that everybody takes care of their role. First down on the 47. Smith. Runs into a brick wall at midfield, and that brick wall was Mark Boutte with help from Keith Taylor, the strong safety. Remember, Taylor is playing in place of James Washington. Taylor had played successfully with the New Orleans Saints a couple of years ago, finished last week's game, and suffered a ruptured Achilles tendon in the first game last year and was out for the season. Second and seven midfield for the Cowboys, tied at ten with just under 13 minutes to go in the second quarter. Darrell Johnston in motion. Wilson looking his way. The pass is caught by Jay Novacek, his first reception of the game. And he's been a big weapon for the Cowboys. Taylor and Marcus Patton defending in a gain of 18 yards for Dallas. You see what they did with Jay Novacek. They just went down, they just curled him up, but in order for that to happen, Darrell Johnston ran right out and opened the whole thing. I think with the departure of Alvin Harper, the priorities have changed in this Dallas offense. Novacek has stepped up. It goes Michael Irvin to Jay Novacek in the passing game, then down to Johnston and, and Emmett Smith. Up the 32 of the Redskins. Here is Emmett Smith. Marcus Patton missed him, but not so much did Mike Flores. And Dick. the former Bengal and Eagle. That's Top seventh and a loss of two. Yeah, that's one of those run blitzes. That, that's one of those gambles we talked about. See, what they're going to do, they're going to roll the dice, and you're going to say, okay, we think you're going to run. So they're going to send the guys up inside. So everybody is going to charge the lane and take away all your cutback stuff and spill it back outside. This time, Marcus Patton comes through and bounces it out wide, and that allows the people to come up and make the play. Second and 12 at the 34. And a whistle and a flag. Two of them, in fact. And they're going to call it on Dallas. Ball start. Number 61 on the offense. Drive through the snap. That's big That's a five-yard penalty. Still second down. And that's pushing the Cowboys out of a possible field goal range as the ball is now set back to the 40. Barry Switzer, who... Turns 58 next Thursday, but after the injury to Aikman, you may have to tack on a few more years. Second and 17. And a 
fake end around this time. And Wilson to Emmett Smith on a screen. Smith gets back almost to the original line of scrimmage, maybe nine yards short of a first down. Ken Harvey made the hit. Well, the Washington Redskins right now are making a big mistake. Rod Stevens, 99, is going over there, and he's getting big Eric Williams mad. Bad thing. Bad. Yeah, you don't do that. I think what you do it, with Eric Williams is you, you, you bring him candy and flowers and ask him how his parents are doing, and you don't ever want to get that because he is one mean guy. And when he gets going, he's going to hurt people. Something about sleeping dogs. <laughs> Third and nine. And we had a whistle, and we may have another false start against the Cowboys. Remember, this is a loud stadium for the opposition to play in. Full start, number 79 on the offense. This time it's a, the man you don't want to get mad, Eric Williams. You know, watch Eric Williams, number 79, right up here. He's just going to jump just a little bit. See, the rule is once you get set, now he's set. Once he gets set, you can't move again. You see that little jerk? That was enough to get the flag. This is the 10th play of the drive, third down and 14. Wilson is set. And it was Harvey and Palmer both converging on Wade Wilson in a big loss. Sterling Palmer came up inside. Ken Harvey goes airborne over Emmett Smith. And he gets right to the foot of the tackle as well. Watch him go over. Boom. And then Palmer inside, and that's a sack. Right now, this Dallas Cowboy offense is out of sync, and it's Troy Aikman's gone, and Wade Wilson is in. So you're having to find out on the fly what Wilson's all about. Redskins had only four sacks coming into the game. And John Jett with a high kick, and Mitchell will let it bounce, and it will be a touchback. Well... There is no question that the Washington Redskins and their fans smell a possible upset in the making with Aikman out of action. I've got gigabytes in a Redskins uniform, and no, it's not Matt Millen. So you can eliminate that possibility. Although I did have one when, when I was about eight, little Redskin uniform. I know one guy who hasn't been wearing too much of a uniform today has been Troy Aikman, and I know he'd like to be. Remember last year we talked to him after the game and said that was the first time he ever won at RFK? He just said he just had bad luck up here. And the interesting thing is, uh, while the Cowboys have dominated the Redskins, Barry Switzer pointed out yesterday that they've never faced Gus Ferrat. It was Heath Schuler. John Fries the backup then, so they're seeing what Ferrat can do. But the score is tied. First down on the 20 for the Redskins as the sun comes out brightly. Play fake. And Ferrat has some time, and the open man is Westbrook. And a rookie from Colorado, still on his feet and down in Cowboy territory by Clayton Holmes after a gain of 34 yards. Well, remember those priorities we talked about in the passing game for your Redskin. You have to take care of Charles Haley. So you put Pat and 68 on him, but you know it's going to be a rough one. So you bring Jenkins, 88, over to finish the job. And then the thing is, this quarterback, Farrat, has great poise. And he buys the time, and he waits for Westbrook to come all the way across the field. That's the poise that this quarterback has. Nick Jenkins again in motion on the 46, and this time it's a running play to Terry Allen. Top run by Allen. <laughs> that looked like Barry Sanders. Right up the gut, it sure did, and a gain of seven. That was all vision. Dixon Edwards came on a blitz, took the outside away. He did the little foot thing, and boom, right back inside. This is what I love to watch with these guys. This is pure reaction. See, boom, has to come back in. Now watch the feet right here. Brock Marion, other side. Boy, I love that. And that's a tough thing to defend against because you don't know what's going to happen. It's just pure reaction. Allen has averaged five yards a carry, really. It's second down and three. And he'll get another chance. He's got a first down and the second effort. Head down into Clayton Holmes in a gain of six. First down again for the Redskins. You know, all those really good running backs have got the great feet. You know, and all it does is your feet just follow your eyes. And it's not anything that you can ever, ever teach. You just go ahead and let those babies follow your eyes. It's pure instinct. See this right again? He also has the thing to lower the shoulders. And right now, that Redskin offensive line is really coming off the ball. They're opening some holes for him. 
Big edge for the Redskins. Rushing wise, and that includes Evan Smith for the other side. And Barry Allen again gets the call and gets inside the 30. You're not really surprised at what Jim Hannafin can mix and match on a game day, aren't you, on the offensive line? No, absolutely. Jim Hannafin's not only one of the good guys of all time, but he's he's one of the most well-respected offensive line coaches in the league. And it's funny because when you go from, you see Jim Hannafin just took off to the right, had the white-haired guy with the headset. What he does is he will get this guy right here. He will get everybody on the same page. And you go around the league and everybody will say, boy, it's a Hannafin coached offensive line. Brian Mitchell in the backfield, fake to him. Parak, again, he was off balance, but got big pressure from Haley on that play. And that, that's a nice job right there by Clayton Holmes, to stand with his coverage. You see what he's going to do. He's, he's the locked up man on Henry Ellard. You take away the inside, force him to the outside. Look at his eyes. See how they never move? See, he stayed with them all the way. That's outstanding. You know, he's been coming under a lot of heat, Clayton Holmes, you know, coming in for Smith, and, you know, they're not tough on the corner. This guy's a pretty good football player. Remember, the Redskins tested him on the first play of the game, deep to Westbrook for incomplete pass. And now Farad, with the clock running down, they had five seconds on the play clock, will use a timeout, and that is the first for the Redskins, and interesting looking on from the Cowboys sideline is Dion. Played the most games in a Washington Redskins uniform is that man, Monty Coleman, who played in 216 contests as a member of the Washington Redskins. Old soup, we called him. For Superman. Man could run. He was powerful. He And the biggest thing he had was big playability. You always know if Monty was on the guy... He was covering. Don't throw a foot. On third down, Farrant to throw, and his pass nearly intercepted by Scott Case. Boy, he read that perfectly. He saw Coleman Bell from the from the snap of the ball, and Farrant really put some heat on that thing. And probably the only reason he didn't catch the ball. The Scott Case was sitting back, reading the whole thing, and just as Farrant started to wind up. He came flying through there. Interesting, we showed you Deion Sanders when he came to the stadium today and the team bus, he was sitting next to Scott Case, both former teammates with the Atlanta Falcons. Eddie Murray, who successful from 38 yards, will now try a 46-yard field goal. And Murray's kick is good, and he gives the Redskins the lead. Eddie Murray. The veteran who has been around and around and around in the National Football League, including a stint with the Cowboys, has kicked a 46-yard field goal to give the Redskins a 13-10 lead over the Dallas Cowboys. And right now, let's send you down to Pam Oliver with a live answer to our Affleck trivia question, Pam. All right, Monty Coleman, tell me a little bit about just being on the sidelines for once when you're taking part in this rivalry. Well, actually, uh, this is probably a safe place to be the way they are playing today. Uh, the Redskins came into the game, of course, with a good game plan. They just went ahead with a field goal. Uh, I'm excited, and I'm hoping they go and pull it out. How tough was you? How tough was it for you to call it quits? Well, it, it's always tough to, to do to leave something that you've done for such a long time, and it's no different for myself. But I realize that I've played a long time. Um, I had some outstanding years with, here with the Redskins as far as the team aspect. And I have no reservations about this team right now. I'm a Redskin fan, and I'm here just to root the team on. All right, thanks a lot. Thank Good you. luck to you in the future. You. All right, Dick, back to you. All right, Pam, there's Troy Aikman, who is in civilian clothes in the first series of the game, went back and, without being touched, fell down, pulled a calf muscle, and will not return in this game. Eddie Murray, who just kicked his longest field goal of the season to give the Redskins the lead, kicking off to Kevin Williams. And Williams dives to the 25-yard line with just under six minutes remaining, and a flag is down in the first half. You know, it's funny watching these special teams. The two guys have really been playing, and Jenkins making the play there. It's been Derek Brownlow and Matt Vanderbeek, uh, former Cowboys. I mean, they're playing like wild men. In fact, so wild, I think Vanderbeek's going to catch himself a flag right here. He, he and Dixon Edwards were going after him. You know those two were fired up coming into the game. Yeah, doesn't Vanderbeek got that good look? There's Derek Brownlow. Vanderbeek has that look like that just says maniac. 
And, and you, know, you look at him, you say special teams. You don't have to know anything else. You go Vanderbeek special team. There is no fall. There is no fall. Yeah, there is a fall. The block, the block was by the kicking team. There is no fall. Well, that's good. There, there's no fall. It's an autumn. I guess there might be no foul either. I like that Vanderbeek. And just the hair is right. You know, he got the black under the eyes. I like that last call. I do too. I like the call. There is no fall. Novacek and Eric Bjornsson, two tight ends. First down on the 26th for Dallas. Trailing 13 to 10. Emma Smith drives forward. Stanley Richard took the run of it in a gain of six. Well, so now you get down by three. You're at RFK. You lose your quarterback. Where do you turn to? Right there. Number 22, Emmett Smith. Now you talk about the coordinators, you know, playing the chess game. You know, sometimes you say, forget all Apollonia. Let's just go back and see who's 11 are best. We know we have a simplified running game. We think we got the best back in the league. Let's run them. Two tight ends on second down and four. And Wilson's pass is caught by Michael Irvin on a short pattern to the 35-yard line. Will be shy of the first down by about a yard. Good coverage by the linebacker, Stevens, and Marcus Patton was back there as well. Yeah, and this play, it really is made. You see Kevin Williams getting his knee worked on. This play was made by Emmett Smith. As he goes out, the backer has to open up. He comes in and sits right where that backer was. And see, Emmett Smith plays such a big part of the game. Watch how the backer has to respect him. See, as he goes out right here, that opens this wide open. Kevin Williams, you saw with the knee problem, Corey Fleming, number 82, has come in at wide receiver on first down. Wilson with a deep drop. And now sack. Sterling Palmer was the first man to get to him, but the man who put the exclamation on was Tony Woods and a loss of eight yards. And that is the second sack of the game by Washington. Well, this is a this is a poor read by Wade Wilson. This thing opens up right away. Look to your left. Daryl Johnson is wide open. Emmett is right underneath. He was trying to find er, uh, Michael Irvin down the field, but he was not aware of his down and distance. He's going to come down across, and then the pressure comes up. This is really, this is on the quarterback. Second down, 18. Back on the 28. Wilson will run out. Chased by a host of Redskins, and he got a... Enough yards, he'll be shy by about six or seven. Good pressure by Mark Boutte that time. Well, now you're going to have to throw the football. You take away priority number one, Michael Irvin. This time, Tom Carter holding the outside. He knows he's got help with the court, with the safety coming from underneath. He just trails him back all the way across the field. Right now, the Redskins are doing a very good job of containing Michael Irvin. They're not going to let Michael Irvin beat him. And Carter did not practice this week. Remember, he's had a strained hamstring the last couple of weeks, but it's played anyway. Third down and seven. And the pass. And it was Williams leaping at the same time as Darrell Green. That was a good play by Williams. That was a pick. That was a nice job of Williams of going up and turning into the defender, knocking that thing away so you don't have a big transition. John Jett will kick it away. And the dangerous Brian Mitchell, who has a 63-yard kickoff return to set up a Redskin touchdown already. Heading toward the sideline, and it is fielded by Mitchell out of bounds, just shy of the 15-yard line. For more on the Deion Sanders and his uh, visit here to RFK, here's Pam Oliver. All right, Dick, I had a chance to talk to Deion, and the progress report, according to Deion, is that he should be ready to go in about a couple of weeks when the Cowboys face the Chargers. The Cowboys figuring, though, that they'll somehow muddle through, have a target date of about October 29th set for Deion's debut when Dallas takes on Atlanta. Back to you. 
And the one thing about Dion is that he is one thing as a showman, another thing as a teammate, and the Cowboys have kind of embraced him as a teammate already. Uh, because they know he's a great football player. First down on the 14, Terry Allen. Gets maybe a yard. You know, when you look at this Cowboy defense, the one guy who's really, really stepped up his play has been Robert Jones, number 55. First of all, he got bigger. I asked him about it. He said, you know, I had to start taking guys on. At 235, I was too much. See, this is wrong. This should be 252. And he said, I gained the weight so that I could step up, but I've still been able to maintain my speed. I think he's playing at the top of his game right now. Second and eight. Barat to Logan out of the backfield, and he is hit immediately by Darren Woodson. And a gain of three yards. But Allen has... Gained 50 yards thus far on 11 carries. And as you look at the Redskins' first five possessions of this game, well, you they know, have scored you know, like three of them. Yeah, we talked about it at the start of the game. Now, I think this Washington Redskin offense is one of the top five offenses in the league. They can move the football. If they can protect Farratt, they're going to eat some people up because they have the big play guys and they have a good running game with Terry Allen. As long as those things and those components are together and North Turner is calling the, the game the way things are being called, this team's going to score points and move the ball. Cowboys call the timeout. They have one left. And as uh, Norv told us yesterday, uh, we can get enough first downs and keep the, the defense off the field. We're doing our jobs and looking at those possessions and how many plays they've had. They've done that the first half. Yeah, and I think that's always the conservative end. You always say, well, at the very least, we have to do this, knowing that you can do more. Right now, they are doing more. I mean, they're moving the ball well. Well, we're seeing some great pictures above the nation's capital today on at RFK Stadium. Some of the great landmarks and the Met Light blimp. Snoopy One is under the command of Captains Russ Adams and Charlie Graham. Third and five from the 19. Barack going up on top for Leslie Shepard and a flag is oh, he caught. Shepard makes the catch anyway. That might be against Leslie Shepard because he pushed off. We'll have to wait and see. Scott Case was defending, and if that's successful, that'll be a 42-yard gain for the Redskins. They were stride for stride, pushing and shoving, and right at the end, Shepard gives that little push in the lower back. And that watches, you're gonna watch his left arm. Here comes the ball. There goes the push. See the separation? And then watch the concentration. It was Holmes. And then Case came in late. You know what I like about this? It looks like they're letting the guys play. Just go ahead and let the receivers play. Bump around. Now you called one there. I would have called it offensively. But a big play. Barat, 7 of 14. One touchdown, one interception. On the Dallas 40 yard line. First down. Barat drills it, and it's off the hands of Galbraith, the tight end downfield. And that will bring us to our two minute warning. Well, the Redskin fans seeing, well, we've got a rivalry going again, don't we? 13 to 10 here at RFK. There's a guy right there, Michael Irvin, who's got his concern. He's kind of waiting for his chance, but the Redskins defense have been doing a very good job on him. Big edge for the Redskins, almost doubling Dallas in total yardage. Second down and 10, and Allen is going to lose a yard or two. And Tony Tolbert came in strong and a loss of one. Watch Tony Tolbert, and really what I see with Tolbert is a young Charles Haley. The difference is Tolbert doesn't have the change of direction that Haley has, but he's got the good speed upfield. He understands and is learning how to run stunts, and he's also been a student with Haley. Haley's been teaching him what to look for, how to study, watch tapes, that kind of thing. This kid's going to be a good football player. He already is good. He, he has a chance to be a legitimate great one. And lucky to be learning under this guy. Haley. Third down and 11. Barat on a slam pass. Caught by Michael Westbrook. And he carried the defender, Larry Brown, a few yards as well. And the Redskins with a first down after a big 16-yard game. And the Redskins will use up a timeout. And they have one remaining. So you go aggressive at the point. Boom. Get right there. Get his hands down so the ball can come quick. 
And then on the other end, Michael Westbrook has got to get to the inside of Brown. And then just use your body. Use it as a shield. Get it between the defender and the ball, and that means first down. Westbrook is tough to bring down. Meanwhile, Brian Mitchell has checked in in the backfield for the Redskins. First down on the 25 goes the Cowboys. He's in there for a reason. Barat goes underneath to Westbrook again. And hanging on him for dear life was Larry Brown this time. And a gain of six. And we are under a minute. Remember, the Redskins have one timeout left. At that time, they used Mitchell, and they used him to clear out that side so that Westbrook could come back underneath. Mitchell will stay in the game. It'll be second down, four. Colbert putting pressure on. Barack pass is caught by Henry Eller. And the Redskins may have to call a timeout. Let's see if they do, and they will with 25 seconds remaining in the half. Redskins call a timeout, and they're threatening. Ellard with the big catch. We're going to be coming up at halftime with JB, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy. Yeah, and, and, and Jimmy Johnson, who's watching this game, is going to sit back and realize that he did such a good job of letting Norv Turner coach his offense that it's coming back to beat that Redsk that uh, that Cowboy defense. Uh, you'll see all of the scores and highlights on the Dockers halftime and the Redskins with 25 seconds to get more points. Well, they had to protect Gus Farad if they were going to have any success. And here they do. And this ball is thrown. You see him doubling Haley. This ball is thrown before Ellard ever makes his break. He's working Holmes. He knows he has him inside. So that gives it the outside to work with. And the ball, when he makes his break, is in flight. That was the first catch of the game for Henry Ellard. First and goal at the five. Jenkins in motion. Farad. Brings it to Terry Allen. <laughs> Gets in. Touchdown, Redskins. That was all Terry Allen. He couldn't find the handle on that ball. Nixon Edwards hit him right in the face. And then he just shrugged that thing off and went in for the score. What a great effort. Terry Allen having a whale of a first half, and again, we got to tell you, this is the first time in his six-year career that he has ever played against the Dallas Cowboys. Amazingly enough, he was injured two of those years and has never suited up against the Cowboys until today. Heck, the way he's playing, he'd like to see 16 Cowboys on the schedule. Eddie Murray with the extra point, and the kick is good, and this crowd is loving it. James Washington... The former Cowboy, and it's 20 to 10 with 17 seconds to go in the half. You know, there's some things like we talked about that can't be taught, you know, speed and all that stuff. Concentration, but watch the will to make this play by Terry Allen. Can't get the handle on it. Look at this. Boom, right in the face. And then throws him off, and then goes through another one. That is a great, great play. And notice how the ball crossed the plane, even though he was... Out of the field, he got the ball to go over the plane, and that is a touchdown. It almost, actually, look at this concentration. There's the hit, and then watch your presence. You know where you're at on the field. And how is Gus Farrat enjoying this? I think in a big way. His second touchdown pass of the game, and it's 20 to 10 in favor of the Redskins who have been shellacked in their last three meetings against the Dallas Cowboys. You know, what? I, I when I watched that the second time, I'd like to take another look at that, see if he didn't step out of bounds before he got the ball over. Picking it on the ground. Kendall Watkins. Kendall Watkins. Yeah, he thought that he was going to flip it up to Kevin Williams. That could be risky. Very. You don't want to play around like that. Joe Avizano, the special teams coach, will give him an explanation or two. 
And now watch on the end. You're going to watch the watch the foot of Terry Allen. See, he's out of bounds. See that right there? See, half is on and half is off. He was out of bounds before the ball crossed. So he got himself a gift, which the Redskins will be happy to have since they feel like they've been getting killed the last three weeks. Yeah, I don't think they feel that even evens it up. And that should be the last play of the first half, and the crowd on its feet. Avanzano still talking to Watkins. And Barry Switzer has some problems. And that is the end of the first half with the score. The Redskins 20, the Cowboys 10. Stay tuned for the Dockers halftime as Fox NFL Sunday continues after these messages from your local station. Last week. Lead the Cowboys 20 to 10. And right now let's go down to the field and Pam Oliver. Pam. All right, Dick, I talked to Troy Aikman back in the locker room. And the first thing, of course, you notice is that he's hobbling quite badly. I asked him if there's any way he'll be able to play next week. And he says, so far, Pam, I'm just really not quite sure. He compares his injury to that suffered by Eric Williams in terms of that calf pull that we mentioned earlier. As for the Redskins, well, they're trying to treat this game at this point like it's 0-0. He says uh, the coaches are saying that 20 points not enough in this contest expect a lot of surprises from the Cowboys back to you guys you know that's interesting uh, Matt Millen uh, first of all you can't treat it like it's 0-0 zero because zero you're up by 10 points and it's a great a great boost for this Redskins team right now absolutely that that reference to 0-0 zero zero really goes back to North Turner and how he's calling the game see all of a sudden you say oh we're up by 10 you know Aikman's out we can get a little conservative eh, wrong answer <laughs> you've got to go right after him you have to be aggressive you have to keep on pushing the ball down the field. Let's take a look at that injury to Troy Aikman that put him out of action on the first series. Yeah, you can see it. We showed it about three or four times. And they're talking about, you know, just one week at a time. I'll tell you, that, that's one of those things that's probably a two to three weaker. And, you know, in my vast medical knowledge, uh, when you pull something like that, it's tough. And Terry Allen uh, looked like he did step out of bounds before he went in. Yeah, you see right there, he got half of it on and half of it off. And that means he's out of bounds. And, you know, the buzz up here in Washington for the last week has been we have been getting killed by the officials. And I think this will silence uh, all that official talk because Jerry Seaman, the director, is going to say this right here is out of bounds. And we gave you the touchdown, so now you just keep your trap shut. Allen, uh, nonetheless, was credited with a touchdown, an 86-yard drive, and scored with 17 seconds left in the half. And we're underway as kickoff by Eddie Murray. Caught by Kevin Williams, now reversing his direction. And for all of that work, he gets dropped inside his 20-yard line by William Bell. For all that work, he just lost himself about eight yards. Cowboys possessions, they got a field goal on their first possession. Aikman went out, and now you see the rest. Three times they had to kick it away, and then the half ran out. So the question is, what can the uh, Cowboys muster with Wade Wilson at the helm? And he may have to be at the helm next week as well. The Cowboys will be home next Sunday against the Green Bay Packers. They've got off to a good start. Starting from the 19-yard line. And the give is to Emmett Smith. Smith gets two, and that's all. And all of a sudden you say, okay, you got the best offensive line. Everybody's talking about this line. And, you know, it's the best in the last 15 years. Now you're going to have to work with numbers. Because if you're going to be one-dimensional and run the football, the Redskins will counter by walking people up to the line of scrimmage. And you count, you cannot account for everybody. And so there's always going to be somebody to make the play. Emmett Smith has carried 10 times for 32 yards. Second down and eight. They go to Emmett again, and he finds a hole up the left tackle. And Emmett Smith rolls his way to a first down and a gain of 12. See what happens when they, that time they didn't walk the man up. But when they do walk a man up, they'll take a safety, and they'll walk him up and see over on the offensive line you have five guys. And then when you walk the guy up, see all of a sudden you, have, you don't have a number. You put the back over, have your safety up. There's always one guy who can't be blocked. And when that happens, he generally makes the play. Three tight ends for the Cowboys on first down. Emmett Smith. And the first player was Mike Flores to trip him up, and then Tony Woods finished the job at a gain of three. 
Redskins are getting a lot of mileage out of Dexter Nottage and Mike Flores, two reserves who were signed as free agents just before the season started. And, you know, all they have to do right now, the interior of that line, is don't get blown off. Stay low, grab on the guys, don't get pushed into your backers so the guy in the, the second level can make the play. So far, they've done that. Second and seven. Cowboys on their 36. Wilson's pass, and that is caught by Kevin Williams. He caught a lot of passes last week when the... You know, Dick, when we talk and listen to Jimmy Johnson at halftime, he was talking about this offense being out of sync and, and not being in, in, uh, in coordinated with everybody. And that goes back to Wade Wilson. See, right now, what they're going to do is they're going to, offensively, they're going to come out and just pound the football, and then they're going to pick their spots with Wade Wilson so he can get his timing back. Cardinals doubled Irvin, so Williams was open. Good deal last week. Here is Emmett Smith looking for running room. Fumbles. And let's see, it is a fumble, and it's recovered. They didn't mark it yet. They're no, they not didn't. saying. The Cowboys claim that the play was blown dead. The officials have not signaled. It is Washington ball. Keith Taylor recovered the fumble by Emmett Smith. Emmett's going to try to bounce this thing out. Ken Harvey will be there, and then Daryl Green forces it back inside. See, he was, I don't know if he was down or not. From that angle, you can't tell. But Taylor recovered it, and that is a big recovery. The first turnover by the Cowboys. Five. Dick Stockton, Matt Millen, Pam Oliver here at RFK Stadium. We'll take a look at uh, that fumble. And you see the old Marcus Patton played in it. First down on the 47 of the Cowboys following the fumble by Emmett Smith. And the pitch to Terry Allen. Cutting inside, and Allen picks up about four. Well, before you say it wasn't a fumble, this is a definitive view, and you'll see it is a fumble. Marcus Patton is the guy who makes the play. Ken Harvey will grab that left elbow. Remember, Emmett Smith has the bad left elbow. See, Patton comes in and whacks that elbow. The ball comes out. His knee was never down. That's clearly a fumble and a good call. And he likes to carry the ball in his uh, left arm. Rarely does he ever switch it. Second down and six. Here's Allen up the middle. Terry Allen with a first down of the 35. Darren Woodson making the tackle on a terrific day for the fifth leading rusher in the National Football League. Yeah, and a terrific day by, by Ray Brown. You can see Emmett Smith. Remember, he hurt his left elbow, and he said it wasn't going to be a problem. And, you know, maybe it wasn't. But every time he carries the ball, we watch the tapes, it's always in that left we hand. We started the count, and then we gave up. Yeah, we just gave it. The guy just puts it right in the left hand. And that was the elbow that was hurt last week. First down on the 35. Again, they go to Allen. Look at Allen change direction. He is putting on the exhibition today. Godfrey Miles makes the tackle on a gain of nine yards. He's an exhibitionist. He is of sorts. He is running very, very well. 70 yards and on he 15 is getting, carries. Yeah, he's getting a great job out of his offensive line. Watch how they get everybody flowing. Now, this is vision. See, boom. See it come all the way back. Ray Brown is pushing people all over the place. Patton doing a good job of staying there. John Giesick inside, like Howie Long talked about, is playing very well. Second and one. Allen, first down inside the 25-yard line. Hey, what the Redskins doing? They're giving their defense really a chance to get a rest and to be strong when they come out again. Yeah, and they're also giving that offensive line confidence. Watch John Giesick, 63. Trey Johnson, 77. 67, Ray Brown, Joe Patton. And then Logan, Mark Logan, and they're just putting bodies on bodies, and they're winning the battle. They're just coming off the ball. They're beating Leon Lett and Charles Haley and Chad Hennings to the point. Trey Johnson has taken every snap today. They didn't know if he would start. Parat with a swing pass. Again to Logan. Inside the 10. And out of bounds. Inside the 5. Well, you, you listen to Jimmy Johnson at halftime, and he was saying about Norv Turner, which has been my impression the whole year. I think he's been on a roll. But right now, I think Jimmy Johnson taught him too good because he is just, he should be Dr. Turner because he is just scalping these people to death. 
He's putting them in position by formation. He's taking them in and out. He's getting people going one way, cutting back the other side. This is going to be a training film for the rest of the NFL. to the one Robert Jones making the tackle it'll be second and goal from the one yard line as we wind down to nine minutes remaining in the third quarter the Dallas Cowboys who have not scored an offensive touchdown are trailing 20 to 10 and the Redskins are threatening to go up more but you know what's really amazing Terry Allen has really picked up very well in his offensive line. He is reading them extremely well. And the guy who he's been have, had the best feel for has been 67, Ray Brown. Here's Allen. Touchdown. who just picked up the first rushing touchdown against the Dallas Cowboys, followed his favorite rear end, Ray Brown, 67. And then he gets a nice job of blocking up front on the tight end, James Jenkins, 88, and 89, Scott Galbraith. They're working on Tony Tolbert and anybody else who shows. They just get the push, and then here comes Big Ray. Boom! And that opens it back inside. Terry Allen in for the score. Redskins capitalizing on the bubble by Emmett Smith. Eddie Murray's conversion is good, and for Terry Allen, former Minnesota Viking, his second touchdown of the day, his first rushing score of the season, and it's 27 to 10 in favor of Washington. And the Redskins has taken over this game, led by that man, 67, Ray Brown. Ray Brown is a big physical guy, and that's the kind of game they have going right now. Isn't it interesting, Matt, how we talked about the Cowboys' offensive line, arguably the best in the league maybe for many years, but when the quarterback went out, their offensive line wasn't as strong, and now the Redskins took hold today. That's because they became one-dimensional. Kevin Williams. And an outstanding bit of running by Kevin Williams. And... He gets it already into Redskin territory. Fine return of 36 yards. Yeah, watch Big Ray Brown. He's going to come around, and then they're going to double here. And then watch Ed Simmons, 76. He's the key. Because what he's going to do is get to the feet of the linebacker, see, and that forces Robert Jones to have to get a little deeper and changes his angle. And when he changes his angle, that allows Terry Allen, 21, to be able to come back underneath. Watch 55. See, he's flat. Because he's flat, he can't attack straight ahead, and that allows Allen to come back in. From the 47 of the Redskins, Darrell Johnston in motion. Wade Wilson's pass is caught by Novacek, and he's wrapped up immediately by Ken Harvey. The Redskins have run off 24 unanswered points. At one time, they were trailing 10-3 after Darren Woodson's return of an errant pass by Farrat, 37 yards for a score. But it has been all... Redskins since then and now a lot of burden on the shoulders of Ernie Zampisi. Yeah, there's Ernie right there And he knows he's got to be patient and he knows if he gets a score right here. They're right back in this game They sure are second down seven Emmett Smith tackled from behind and that's Tony Woods Playing with an injured wrist You know, it's funny at halftime Sam Huff the Hall of Fame linebacker for the Redskins Couldn't wait to get down here. and He said hey, where's that offensive line now? He said it's not the offensive line, it's Emmett Smith. And when they're one-dimensional, you can't run them. Whose side do you think he was uh, favoring there? Well, based on the pom-poms that he had, I would have to say that it was Washington. <laughs> the chant of defense. Third and seven. Emmett Smith. And a nifty bit of running and a first down for the Cowboys. Third and seven, they run it. Robert Bailey, the nickel, back on the stop. Boy, they did a great job on Ken Harvey, and it was Jay Novacek, 84. Watch him right here. Ken Harvey's going to come on the rush. Jay Novacek, just catch him. Now stay low, and this is what tight ends have to do. Just stay with them. See, you grab on and you hold. It don't matter. 
You just mirror the guy, and that will get body on body. 22 will do the rest. 58 yards for Emmett Smith. First down on the Redskin 36-yard line. Wade Wilson out to Smith on the flat. And he picks up a couple of yards. Well, next week on Fox NFL Sunday, the same Dallas Cowboys. I don't know whether Aikman will be in there. Maybe not against Red Favre and the Green Bay Packers from Texas Stadium. That should be quite a clash. Carolina plays Chicago, Washington against Philadelphia in an NFC East battle. And some of you will see the Cardinals and the Giants at a 4 o'clock start next Sunday. Check your local listing. That's going to be a good football game because the Green Bay Packers have an outstanding defense. And a healthy quarterback. Second and seven, looking pass. And another first down, it appears. Michael Irvin from Wade Wilson. Yeah, I tell you, if you're a Washington Redskins fan, don't be jumping up and down too soon because this is a very patient Dallas offense. And it's also experience. And what experience brings you is under adversity, you know what to do. You just react. You don't got to think about it. You don't do anything. You've been there before. Let's just go back and do what we do. That's exactly what's happening right now. Here's Emmett again. And he gets to about three. Keith Taylor on the tackle. And you're right, Norv Turner knows how to find the ways offensively, and the man who taught him, Ernie Zampisi, certainly does. Absolutely. And and you look at what Ernie is doing, it's almost, a, you know, it's funny, it's almost a carbon copy of what these guys are doing. Same thing. You know, you want to get the ball to Emmett Smith, you want to get the ball down to Michael Irvin. And when you get running backs like this, and they're running this well, especially this guy, you just keep on going for it. Allen has had the edge so far today. Second and six. Wilson swings it out to Emmett Smith, and he's stopped by Harvey. Ken Harvey all over the field today defensively for an aroused Redskins group. They have not given up a touchdown and you a know, loss of four. Nick, you haven't heard very much about Darrell Green at all today, number 28, and that's a good reason. First of all, they're not trying him. That's the first thing. And then second of all, because he's doing his job deep, that's forcing him to throw everything underneath, and that allows Ken Harvey to make a play like that. Third and 11. Wilson's pass incomplete. The Redskins say, and uh, Kevin Williams That's might have caught it. Pass. He did catch it. They're short of the first down, however, by about a yard or so. Maybe two. So let's see if you do have the best offensive line in football. Or if Turner is uh, disturbed over that defensive uh, call. He can be disturbed, but it looked like a catch to me. Not that it makes him feel any better. Watch this ball is thrown nice and low where it has to be in between the defenders. Williams goes down and gets it. Looks like a good catch. Yeah, it looks like a catch. And when it's fourth and two and you're trailing 27 to 10, you got to talk it over. Timeout, Cowboys. Murder. Fourth and two. They are perfect on fourth down conversions this year in four tries. They're going to go for the field goal now, but look at the sideline with Emmett Smith getting an earful from Barry Switzer. He was H O T hot. So he was saying, I make the decisions here. You don't ever do that. Whatever it was he did, he wasn't pleased. Redskins have to feel good about that. That's a moral victory right here. And if he misses this thing, heck, that's a major victory. 34 yard attempt for Bonio, who was kicked one earlier in the game. And Bonio's kick is good. So Barry Switzer says, I want the sure points. They've kind of settled it now. 27 to 13 now, the score. Low your him from above, thanks to the MetLife blimp cruising the skies of Washington, D.C. And Snoopy. That was a little concerned when I show up to the stadium today. As soon as I got out of the car, they said, there's the blimp. I said, what? You've lost some weight. Yeah, well, and then they said, hey, the Met life limp. Terrible I felt thing. much better. Terrible thing to say about you. Nine plays, 30 yards, and Bonio with a 34-yard field goal. 27 to 13 Redskins, and the kickoff to Brian Mitchell. Mitchell fumbled the ball, and it is still Washington's possession. And... 
Not bad field position for Washington. It's got their first point since the first quarter, and it was the first possession when Troy Aikman went down with a full calf muscle, and he's out of the this week. Who knows of the future? You know, I think it just rekindles that story about, you know, which is the most important guy down there. Remember, he signed a big contract. They said, well, it was Emmett Smith, and now, now Aikman's out, and now Emmett's got to pick it up. First down, Redskins on their 36-yard line. Here's Terry Allen. Oh, man. Diving forward. Dixon Edwards on the tackle. And right now for McDonald's game break, let's return to James Brown in our Hollywood studio. Hey, Dick, as you know, it's been an ineffective New Orleans offense all season, so they go into the gadget bag, a reverse. Torrance Small with the longest run from scrimmage for the Saints this season, 44 yards to pay dirt. The Saints leading at 10-9 in the third. Back to Dick and Matt. Well, you got to try everything, Matt. Well, when your main things aren't working, you go to the grab bag. Second down and five. Terry Allen, and he's got a first down. He is putting on a brilliant exhibition today. Not 22 as much as 21, and that was a nine-yard game. Well, look at Ray Brown. He is just killing some people. You're going to watch him come around number 67. Trey Johnson, 77. Watch this block. He just squares his shoulder and just runs right through. And you get on the backer. Terry Allen's a smart guy. He's just following big 67. Jim Schwantz has replaced Robert Jones at middle linebacker for the Cowboys. First down on the 49-yard line. Allen for more. And Allen is approaching 100 yards. That was his 21st carry. And has about 93 yards rushing in the opening game of the year against the Cardinals. Allen gained 131 yards. See that guy there, 77? Very doubtful if he was even going to play. Trey Johnson had the ankle. They said, boy, if I can get 15 plays out of him, I'll tell you something, he has been outstanding today. He is the difference between this offense from the first game to this game because they missed him with his in-between games, and the line has really taken off. Hannafin was delighted to get him back in there. Second down, six. Allen, short of the first down by a couple, and it was... Leon Lett. That was a four-yard game. We saw Trey Johnson in the opening game totally nullify Eric Swan of the Cardinals before Swan get, got hurt later on. The inside three of this Redskin offensive line is dominating right now. Ray Brown, 67. John Giesick, the former Cowboys, 63. And Trey Johnson, 77. And they're being very simple. I mean, they're just coming off the ball and powering people. Third and one, under a minute to go in the third quarter. Play fake. At the time, the pass incomplete. Boy, he had Scott Galbraith wide open. He was looking for Henry Eller the whole way, and this is a young rookie mistake, and Norv knows it. Robert Jones got a hand on it. As Henry Eller is going to come. They're expecting everything to clear out in the middle, but Scott Galbraith comes down, and he's wide open. And Jones does a nice job of feeling the receiver and comes back and tips it. Fourth down, and the Red Scott, uh, Redskins will have to kick as Farad and uh, Norv Turner talk it over. Matt Turk will boot it away to Kevin Williams. That's a good kick. Fair catch. And the Redskins are going to see it go out of bounds inside the five on the three-yard line. Great kick by the rookie Matt Turk. Well, check out the show the Los Angeles Times calls a rock'em, sock'em science fiction adventure. The producers of the X-Files take you even deeper into the unknown in space, above and beyond. Catch a brand new episode tonight at 7, 6 Central on Fox. Heck, I came home last week from the game and walked in the door and my boy said, Dad, that space show is really good. I'm glad they're watching and listening. Yeah. I was surprised because I don't let them watch TV. <laughs> <laughs> Not when you're there, anyway. Alan Cartoon. <laughs> First down from the three. From the end zone, Wade Wilson's pass is caught by Michael Irvin. They get out of trouble. And a first down beyond the 20. Boy, was that well conceived. That was very, very nice. You see what they did? They're going to motion him over here. That makes all your underneath coverage go this way, and that takes this and opens it as he comes down inside. This is good football. See how everybody has to push this way. 
See, and then that opens this wide open. 19-yard gain, first and 10 on the 23 with three seconds to go. And they're going to go up top this time for Kevin Williams. Oh, what a catch! And it's the catch as the third quarter I comes to an end. He beat Darrell Green on a ball that lofted up there. And that's the end of the third quarter. The Redskins lead the Cowboys 27 to 13. Fox NFL Sunday will continue after these messages from your local Fox station. This play has the great protection. What I want you to watch is at the top right of your screen, you're going to watch Emmett Smith just kill Tony Woods right there. That gives him lots of time. Then the ball's in the air. And what happens is Daryl Green bites on Williams right here. See that bite? And then he doesn't get his head over in time to find the ball. And that's a great catch by Williams. Start of the fourth quarter, and Emmett Smith carries the ball inside the 35. Ball was on the three-yard line, and Wade Wilson has completed his last two passes for a total of 58 yards. Watch how the ball, the concentration, and watch how Dow Green doesn't whip his head around in time. Smith, uh, Williams sees it all the way. It's just over the grass, and a great job of catching the ball by Kim Williams. Second and five. Redskins leading by two touchdowns. Outscored Dallas in the second and third quarter, and the pass overthrown on a fade. Uh, that was the pattern that Kevin Williams ran, and uh, he was covered by Tom Carter downfield. And there's another roll of dice by the Redskins defensive coordinator, Ron Lynn. And that time, he figured it was going to be a quick pass, so he went with a blitz underneath, and he manned everything up. Up. And so what he was counting on was if he walks his corners up, the ball has to come out quick so you give yourself a chance. Third and five. And Marcus Patton was coming on a blitz from the inside, but a penalty marker. And it may be against the Cowboys. Ball start. Number 53 on the offense Center, side. Of the Ray Donaldson. That's a five-yard penalty. Still third down. Only third and ten now. Well, that's what Jimmy Johnson was talking about at halftime. You know, you get the new quarterback, a different cadence, different timing. And it usually happens between the center and the quarterback because you don't always take your snaps with the first team. Well, Wilson has played the, virtually the entire game. Aikman went out with a full calf muscle. Hasn't been back. And the Cowboys have not scored any offensive touchdowns today. Four wide receivers on third and ten. Kevin Williams makes the reception and very close to the sticks inside the 30-yard line. Darryl Morrison making the tackle, and it appears as if Dallas has the first down. Now, they got caught in the gamble right there. That time, they tried to drop Tony Woods 98 off, and it's going to open this zone wide open. Smith is going to come over. They're going to come with the blitz outside with the backer, and then they take the inside tackle. He's got to get wider. See, he doesn't get wide, and because he doesn't get out there, that opens the zone wide up. You also have to get good blocking, and when you're Emmett Smith, you see him off the corner, and boom, step his face right in there. First down on the 28, Wilson. <laughs> Caught touchdown by Michael Irvin as he grabbed it away from Darrell Green. A sensational catch by Irvin. And the Cowboys may come within a touchdown, and the Redskins better not get too cocky. We have plenty of time remaining. This is that experience I was talking about by the experienced great players. Coverage is right on top and goes over the top, and it's just body. See how he gets his body in between, and then the strength of hands, he just pulls it down. Michael Irvin with six catches for 94 yards and a touchdown. And Chris Bonio for the extra point. And the kick is good. We have about a minute and a half gone by in the fourth quarter. And the score now, the Redskins 27, the Cowboys 20. It took the Dallas Cowboys only two minutes to go 97 yards. Those two passes from Wade Wilson to Irvin and Williams before the end of the third quarter. And then Michael Irvin catches the TD strike. And it's a 27-20 lead for the Redskins as Brian Mitchell returns for Washington. 
You know, on this touchdown, this is how you beat the quarter defense. See, they're going to go back here. Everybody, they're dividing the deep part into quarters. So what you have to do is you have to make this safety stay underneath. So Novacek comes, and that makes Taylor stay right there. And what that does is that opens this up back here for the deep end, puts your corner on an island, and then Irvin makes the great catch. And then after the touchdown, heck, he runs over to somebody he noticed in the stands there, somebody he obviously likes, and flops him the ball. I think he knows that fellow. I would say so. Total yards virtually even. But the Cowboys have the edge in the second half. First down from the 24. Play it down. And the pass out to Terry Allen. One of the Cowboy defensive linemen might have jumped. Yeah, Leon Lettig. They were running that stunt with Haley, and he jumped the count. And yeah, they were going to run a stunt to that top side. And he tries to get to that inside real quick. On the defense, number 78, up to five-yard penalty, repeat first down. So it'll be first and five. As they mark it off, penalty is against Leon Lett. Ball at the 29-yard line of the Redskins. This is a big possession for Gus Farad. Not to go three and out and give that offense a chance against like the Cowboys. Hand off this to Allen, and he's fumbles, fumbles. And let's see, wait for the official signal. Redskins keep it. Somebody came flying up inside and destroyed that. Darren Woodson, I think, forced when, it. When you start running all those counters and going back and forth and pulling your guards, the way to beat that is to get pressure up deep inside, and then that messes the whole thing up. That time, somebody came flying up through the middle and almost knocked Trey Johnson off. See, Trey Johnson's coming right here. That's who it is. That's Charles Haley. There's a surprise. They ran a stunt. Haley came down inside. Second down and eight. Marat, quick toss, incomplete. He was going for Logan. And it'll be third down, and this is where the Redskins, as we said, don't want to put their defense on the field again. Can so you feel quickly. it starting to turn right now? Yes, you can. You can start to feel it. That's the experience and the patience that the Cowboys have. And they know if they hang in there and do their job, they're going to get right back in it. And it's also, on the other side, it's something that the Redskins, being young, have not learned how to do. And we've already seen that Wade Wilson may have started to get some momentum at quarterback for the Cowboys on that last possession. Third and eight. Brian Mitchell is the back. Perron is going to throw. And his pass is overthrown. He wanted Westbrook. Round covering. And it is three and out. And remember, it was first and five, and the Redskins couldn't get five yards. And they'll have to kick it away. Well, and the play that made that whole series was, was when Charles Haley came down inside and messed everything up. Matt Turk will be kicking it, and Kevin Williams back deep for the Cowboys. 27 to 20 the score. This game has gone back and forth. Wobbly kick. Williams will let it bounce. And it will go out of bounds at about the 30-yard line of Dallas. So a timeout. More than 12 minutes remaining. Fourth quarter. Slay. Now he knows when they're going to run those counters, you got to get pressure up the field. See how he jumps inside? He hits Trey Johnson, and he bumps into Logan, and then that forces everything back inside. Penetration when you're running counters will kill you. Cowboys start from the 30-yard line, trailing by a touchdown. Emmett Smith out of the backfield and picks up about six yards. Ken Harvey making the tackle. At one point, the Cowboys led 10 to 3, and then the Redskins were up 27 to 10. And now the lead is 27 to 20. At the end of this game, Matt and I will select the Miller Light player of the game. Wade Wilson in relief of Troy Aikman, who pulled a calf muscle on the first series of the game. Second and four. Smith up the middle with running room. And Emmett Smith rambles to midfield. And his best run of the day, good for 14 yards.
Well, remember at the outset, we talked about how this offensive line will just grind on you and start to steal your heart. This is what they do. See, they get those big bodies. Now it's the fourth quarter. You're shuffling people in and out. That offensive line starts to take control. Daryl Johnson with the block. Nate Newton with the block. And here comes Emmett Smith. This is time you buckle your chin strap defensively because it's going to get physical. Three tight ends, so another one off offense formation. Smith still on his feet and close to the 45 of the Redskins. And right now, for a McDonald's game break, again, let's return to James Brown in our Hollywood studio. Superb running back there, Dick. Take a look at Marshall Falk. After the Rams committed their second turnover of the season, Marshall Falk makes him pay his third touchdown of the season, and he leads at 21-10 late in the third. Back to Dick and Matt. All right, JB, thank you very much. Emmett Smith has gained 85 yards on 19 carries. Washington minus two yards, Dallas 68. Dramatic reversal here in this fourth quarter. Second and five, flag down. Pass caught by Irvin. And out of bounds, but a penalty marker back down at the line of scrimmage. That one's coming back, boys. And a holding penalty will set the Cowboys back into their own territory. You know, it's almost predictable what Dallas is doing. Every time they motion Daryl Johnston away, they're trying to open up Michael Irvin Holding man for man on the back. Number 79 on the offense. That's the 10 yard penalty. Repeat that. Watch number 79, Eric Williams. He's going to get, he's the one who got caught for the hold. He goes up high on Tony Woods, and Tony Woods just beats him. Yeah, and he cleanly got him. Remember, Eric Williams, despite the fact that he's playing, is not really 100%. He had the knee injury and then suffered the strained left calf. Gave it a go anyway, but not 100%. It is second and 15. Most, for most that'd be enough. <laughs> Wayne Wilson. Caught. And that is Jay Novacek. And you mentioned earlier, Matt, has become really the second biggest target. See what's happening? They got caught again. They're going to come with a blitz outside. Then they're going to drop a line, and this time Tony Woods back. See how he's coming right out here? See, and then Novacek sees it. He just runs right by him. And anytime you can't get that zone covered, every quarterback in the league is going to find that guy. They are looking for the one-on-one -on -one matchup with Michael Irvin by taking the flow away every time. First down, Emmett Smith. Turns the corner on the left side. He was chased by Taylor, Darrell Green, and Harvey ran him out of bounds after a gain of three. You know, I've always said, offensively, when you're good, you can be as simple as you want to be. And you can run the same play ten times. When you've got better people on your side, you just go and get after them. And right now, that's, that's what's happening with the Dallas offensive line. Cowboys trail. They're looking to go 5-0 and oh for the first time in 12 years. But trail 27-20. Second and six coming up from the 33 of the Redskins. Swing pass. Emmett Smith. And he gets a first down as Redskin defenders bang off of him. He gets inside the 20-yard line and a gain of 16 yards. Tough run for Smith after the catch. Well, you know, it's, it's, a, it's either a case of tough running or poor tackle. You know, as Tom Carter makes his break, he comes up. you got to get your head on the outside. He just runs right by that one. Then bangs into Stanley Richard, and he guns through him. And then two more, three more guys. Heck, there's four missed tackles there. Granted, it's not an easy task with Emmett Smith. He's a very powerful runner. First down on the 19. Eight minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Plenty of time. And Smith again. Finally hit by Rod Stevens after Stanley Richard made first contact. Boy, I like this. I like to see a team that's patient. I, I, it always drove me nuts when a, when a team would panic. And when you have patience, it has to start on the sideline. But if it, it isn't there, it has to come from your players. And it's always your big time players. And so you go back to your Emmett Smith. And you look at Michael Irvin and Jay Novacek. And those are the guys who are making the play. Sherman Williams giving Emmett Smith the breather. He deserves it. Second and six. And Moose Johnson with a carry. And gets maybe a yard. That's called the crumb. 
<laughs> Here, take this. You know, you know, there's somebody eating a, a full banquet like Emmett Smith is having a, an eight-course meal, and then something rolls off his plate. It's a pea, and he just flicks it over to Daryl Johnson. Says, "Here, enjoy yourself." And Daryl knows he's not going to carry much. In fact, coming into the game, it carried only six times. He does other things, and he does them well. Third and six. Flag down. Touchdown to Michael Irvin. I think there's a penalty. And they're calling it off. Dow Green saw it right away. Heck, he didn't bother covering anybody. Ball start. Number 71 on the offense prior to the snap. That's a five-yard penalty. Still third down. Mark Tuaday guilty, and that's a one that really hurts. And as you're watching two-a-day, remember this. This is the fourth penalty since Wade Wilson is in of this kind of cadence kind of call. And so you can see that it has an effect. So a holding penalty nullified a big gain on this drive. And now a touchdown, uh, although the Redskins let up when they saw the penalty. Emmett Smith back in the game, third and 11. Wade Wilson, pass caught by Irvin, and he is knocked out of bounds by Robert Bailey. Boy, there's a couple point drill there. Let it go, let it go. The question is the spot as to whether they will have enough for the first down. They're going to measure, you heard it from Bernie Kupar, our referee. Well, you know what I love? I love when the game's on the line and you go to your great players and they always come through. Here's Michael Irvin working on Tom Carter. Oh, he was out of bounds. His foot was out of bounds. Did you see that? Well, that evens it up today. Yeah, they gave him the first. His foot was clearly behind the marker. Yeah, watch his foot right at the end. You can see he steps right there. See that? And that's behind this marker. But they gave him the first down. Barry Allen stepped out of bounds, and they gave him a touchdown in the first half. First and goal from the nine-yard line, and it's Smith to about the five. Dexter Nottage makes the play. Remember that Emmett Smith has scored a touchdown in 11 consecutive games. The NFL record is 13. Right now, the first priority for the Cowboys is to come back. They trail 27 to 20. And the nine rushing touchdowns is more than any NFL team. That's what Emmett has done as he faces second and goal from the five. Wilson swings it out to Smith. You can see the Redskins going after the football as he is down at the five. No gain. Marcus Patton and Keith Taylor that time. That's a good job by Marcus Patton. You know, one of the hardest things in all of football is to make a block in the open field and also make a tackle in the open field. Especially when you're going against a guy like Emmett Smith because the guy has the whole field to work with. So you come up and what you got to do is just take your shot. That time it paid off. Third down and goal. The timeout story. Wade Wilson throws left, knocked away. Daryl Green knocked it away from Kevin Williams and saved the touchdown. Daryl Green has been watching that all day. You see what Wade Wilson did? He came out, he looked to the right to draw the coverage all the way over, and then boom, he turns around and he goes right back inside, knowing that he's going to have single coverage on the backside. Now watch Daryl Green break. And say he got away with a little hand in the back there. Watch Wade Wilson look. He's going to look to this side, draw the coverage and the safety. Now come back. And then Darrell Green with a nice play. Chris Bonial with a 23-yard field goal attempt. He's two for two today. And now perfect three for three. And with four minutes and 20 seconds remaining in the fourth quarter, the Redskin lead has been cut to 27 to 23 over the Cowboys. Five knows that Michael Irvin's the guy down here they're looking for. So you get your jam, you hold your ground, and then if the officials are letting you play, you hold them. And see, he got away with that inside hold, as did Ken Harvey right down here on Daryl Johnston. And when that safety came over, Wade Wilson had to go back, and then the nice play by Daryl Green. 
The officials aren't looking. I like that. Yeah, I like when the officials just let you play the game. Here's Brian Mitchell returning the kickoff from the 15-yard line. And the Cowboys don't let him get away. That's a big play coverage by the Dallas Cowboys. David Lang, the ex-Ram in on the play. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League and is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the Washington Redskins and the National Football League is prohibited. Dick Stockton and Matt Millen. You know what a big play that was by Dow Green. You know what it does? It puts, it gives them a four-point deficit, which means they have to score the seven points. It's not a field goal. So that's a monster play. First down from the 30. Terry Allen for a couple of yards. Leon left the tackle, and on the offensive line, Bernard Smith has replaced Trey Johnson, who uh, was not expected to play, started, and played virtually every snap, but uh, Vernus Smith is in there now at right guard. 100 yards. Yeah, Trey Johnson, you see right there, and he's the one who helped one of those guys who helped Terry Allen get his 100 yards. They need a healthy Trey Johnson because that makes Terry Allen better. Second and seven, Perot with a play action pass. Terry Eller makes the reception in a first down near midfield. Brock Marion on the tackle, and that is a big first down for Washington. There is some great football being played today in RFK Stadium. I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. Watch the protection. They match protect. Now you're going to eyeball the receiver. And look at him. Look at that. That's a great shot of Farrat looking, going right in front. Ellard knows he's going to get hit by Marion. That's great football all the way around. Only the second reception of the day by Ellard. Ball is on the Redskin 49. He was trapped and then goes forward and gets into Cowboy territory. And a gain of five yards with Jones and Godfrey Myers on the tackle. Well, the action will continue on Fox NFL Sunday next week. The Green Bay Packers, who are off to a solid start, go against these Cowboys. That'll be the featured game at 1 o'clock Eastern. And, of course, uh, the big question is Troy Aikman's condition as we look at the other games. Meanwhile, the Cowboys have called a timeout their second. You know what I find curious right now? Game's on the line. You got big play people, and your biggest play people person is on the sideline, Michael Westbrook. Why is that? I'll tell you why. Because he doesn't quite have the feel for the offense, and you cannot afford a big mistake right down here. Remember, he's come up with some big plays. Sometimes he lines up wrong. He's not in the right spot. Now here at 2.40 to go in the game, you have to have no mistake football. The man who is in there is Leslie Shepard, who has caught a big pass and has impressed the Redskin coaches with his uh, ability to catch passes underneath in particular. He's a squirm. That's what he is. He can squirm into a spot. Second and five. They go to Terry Allen. And Allen with a big game with a first down. Boy, that was powerful. Football. Look at Ray Brown jumping up and down. Ed Simmons, Joe Patton, James Jenkins just took care of. Look at it. these guys are flopping all over the place. <laughs> they are. Look at it. it's amazing. It's one big flop. <laughs> Nine yard game. Left side of this offensive line. They are just being road graders. They are blowing people off the ball. Ray Brown. He has his guy, Charles Haley's out of there. That, look at everybody. Heck, that's six yards down the field, and they know it, and they are excited. Look at Joe Patton jumping up and down, and watch Big Ray Brown. Not only is he blowing their guys off the ball, he's blowing his own guy. That's hilarious. Look at that. He knocked him on his back. Heck. And then he did the dead end. You know, he's laying there with his hands going up and down in the air. <laughs> the dead end. Remember, Jim Lachey is lost for the season. Joe Patton had to come in and play. First down on the 38-yard line. Cowboys have used up their last timeout, and Terry Allen cannot be stopped today. He has 121 yards. That time, John Giesick did a number inside. I got to tell you, I, I'll be honest with you. I never expected 
this offensive line to do this job on the front four of the Dallas Cowboys. They are just mauling them. They allowed 75 yards, fourth in the league, but today they've been shredded for 138 by an impressive running attack. Truman in warning. The nation's capital, and uh, tell you what, the heavens have been shining down on the Redskins for sure, leading 27 to 23. Troy Aikman suffered a full calf muscle on the first series of the game. Cowboys led 3 0, but that awakened the Redskins, and they have had an impressive game. And Norb Turner, the former Cowboy offensive coordinator, 27 23. The Cowboys are out of timeouts. Two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter. And you're looking at the offensive hero as far as backs and receivers are concerned, Terry Allen, who has gained over 120 some odd yards. Now, let me put a little perspective right here. This is a huge down. You got a minute 40 to go. It's third and short. If you don't get this, you either have to try to pin them back there with, a, with an out-of-bounds kick, so they have to go 90 yards. Or if you don't do that, you get, if you get the first down, this one's over. But right now, the Cowboys have enough time to come back and win this football game. So this down right here is a monster. Terry Allen. I'm not sure. I don't think so. If it is, it's all Terry Allen. No, I don't think he made it. I think the Cowboys stopped him. They may measure. And I don't know where the spot will be, but it appeared that Terry Allen did not get to the sticks. Critical measurement coming up as the clock stops on an official's timeout with 107 remaining. It looks like he's going to be short. There's a lot of slack in that line. That's great defense. Hey, you play big play defense on third down. It's short. Short by about a half a yard. Decision time. Now, how good is your offensive line if you're the Washington Redskins? If you're Jim Hannafin on the sideline talking to North Turner, say, what do you got? You know what it looks like they got? They're saying, we are going to get this first down, and if we don't, you're going to have a minute left to play to go 75 yards. Now, the clock will stop on the changeover if the Cowboys stop them, but the roar you will hear if the Redskins make it will be deafening. have held Terry Allen who lost a yard on that play and with 45 seconds remaining Wade Wilson and the Cowboys offense have one last shot that's a great job by that Dallas defense tremendous job now look they've been getting blown off the ball blown off the ball and now it comes time to do it you stay low you get pressure Russell Maryland with a great job and then on the outside coming through boom making the hits that doesn't get much better. This is great goal line. Deep. Watch Dixon Edwards come down the corner. See how he flattens out? That's perfect. 45 seconds and no timeouts for the Cowboys. Wade Wilson's pass tipped and incomplete. And it was Daryl Green who got a hand on it. All right, now this is great football. Michael Irvin and Daryl Green. Get the jam. Don't let him off. Now you're going to trail him. You have a safety behind. Break on the ball. Look at that. I'll tell you, you, we have been treated to great football today. All the way around. You've had the great running. You've had great defensive plays, receiving, offensive line blocking, and it's not done. Second and ten. Wilson has time. Pass is caught. By Jay Novacek. Remember, they can't stop the clock. Robert Bailey. The best thing that happened right there for the Redskins was they tackled them. Jay Novacek. And third down and four. Got to go up the field. Wade Wilson is going for Kevin Williams and is intercepted by Carter.
Wade Wilson had to make a play. He had to go deep. The Redskins knew it. Tom Carter out jumps. Kevin Williams takes the ball at his highest point, and that's a huge victory for the Washington Redskins. And that is the Redskins' first interception since the opening game of the year. And the Redskins will send the Dallas Cowboys to their first defeat of the year on the heels of the 49ers losing to the Lions on Monday night. And a dramatic upset win here at RFK. And our Miller Lite player of the game with a sensational running performance is Terry Allen. Terry Allen. Nick, I got to tell you, Terry Allen had a great day, but the offensive line yeah, of the right. Washington Redskins was unbelievable. 121 yards, but that line opened up the holes for number 21 today. And don't you think that Norb Turner has been waiting for this day since the day he took that job? Roy Aikman with Norv Turner and the respect they have for each other. Norv Turner lets it go. Redskins win, and right now let's go down to Pam Oliver. Aikman, you guys, we were talking about the patience. A lot of patience here today. Good job. And once we got some points on the board, they were able to to keep them from catching. You think the Cowboys lost a little of their of their spunk when uh, Aikman went out? Well, anytime your starting quarterback goes down, I mean that, that, that's a big loss to your team. I mean Wade's a good quarterback, so they had a good guy coming in, but you know the loser Troy Aikman that really hurts. What about your offensive line? They seem to do a great job for you today. Oh, they really did a great job. Uh, you know, we wanted to get back to our run game, and uh, I think they wanted to come out and, and be a physical group up front, and they were able to do it. All right, thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Thank you. Let's go back upstairs to Dickett. Huge uh, win for the Washington Redskins, and uh, they now go 2-3 and three on the year, and 4-1 and one, the record for the Dallas Cowboys, and the rivalry is back. The rivalry is back, and to be honest with you, this Washington Redskins team could very easily have been 4-1. and one. You take away a couple of calls. This offense is as good as any in the league. I'm convinced of it. Final score, the Washington Redskins win it 27-23. And coming up after these messages, we'll have our post-game report with JB, Terry, Howie, and Jimmy, and a wrap-up of Week 5. And none could have been more exciting than the Redskins stunner over the Dallas Cowboys, now previously undefeated.